Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I'm Daniel. My last name is Chinchilla. It's real. It's on my birth certificate. I am here to talk about the $45 slime highlighter. $45, $45, $45. $45. That is the Givenchy. Givenchy, Givenchy, however you say it. But it sounds fancy, so whatever. The Givenchy Beauty's Memoir de Form Highlighter casts the skin in a whole new light with just a swipe of the fingertip. Packed with pink hued micro pearls, this blendable gel, aka slime, will quickly boost your complexion's natural radiance. It says suitable for all skin types and tones, which honestly, I think everything says that nowadays, and I'm gonna put it to the test and make sure that that's true. Apply the formula with the fingertips over tops of the cheekbones, along the T-zone, and on the cupid's bow. It says it's made in France, so it's probably good. So here's the highlighter. Pretty packaging. <gasps> Look how pink it is. It is 1.05 ounces, which means it's actually a lot of, it's a lot of product. Ooh. I'm kind of pretending that I didn't already open this and feel it, just for you guys. Ooh, I've never seen this. <laughs> Smells like roses and flowers, not in an obnoxious way, like, it's pretty. If you don't like fragrance products, this isn't for you because it's for sure fragranced. The gel, aka slime highlighter, look at how it moves. Ooh. <laughs> Told you it's a slime highlighter. Oh, <laughs> it almost fell all over the table. I would have been so mad. But it is a $45 slime highlighter. So this better change lives. It better do all kinds of wonders. It better, it better save humanity. Save us from ourselves. So I'm gonna put this to the test and see if it's suitable for all skin tones, if it looks good on my skin tones, if I'm a brownie. I'm gonna feel the formula. I'm really curious as to see how this lays on the skin. So, it is, wow. You know what it's like? It's like Jello. You know Jello, the, the kind you eat? You know, it's like <laughs> I put a tiny bit on my finger, not a lot. And I already have concealer on my face. I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Whoa. It's supposed to put it, oh, it feels cold. It feels like, Menthol-y, like you know, like if you were to put toothpaste on your face, then I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so far, not impressed. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. It's very um, cakey looking on my complexion. So anybody, my complexion or darker, it's this is probably not for you because it does look a little bit too like silvery white, which in my opinion isn't a good thing because whenever I use highlighters on clients, I tend to go to, for more of the like gold pigments, especially if, if you're like my color or darker. If you're a lighter complexion, you can go with more of a silver, but I feel like for warmer complexions, it looks better if you have more of a gold highlighter on. It suits the skin tone a little better and it looks more natural. It doesn't have like that cakey look on it. Just my preference. Don't get mad at me. Don't yell at me. It's just my preference. Calm down. <laughs> Once I blended it in good, AKA took most of it off, it's fine. I'm going to use it more as a primer because I'm thinking that it's dry but I can still kind of feel it there. This is good for someone who wants more of like a glow, like not a highlight, but more of like a healthy skin glow. It's not good for someone who wants to look like super highlighted and like, you know, see you from space type of thing. It's probably not right. I'm going to use this Joye Skinny Dip Highlighter. Ooh, now you can see it. I'm using this with the Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. Let's see if layering it helps. Wow, the, the highlighter grabbed onto the slime highlighter, which is usually a good thing because it means it's gonna stay on your skin and like not come off like ever. 
I like using these smaller highlighter brushes because I like putting them where they're supposed to go. Highlighters go in a certain spot of your face, not all over your cheek because it's gonna make your cheek look bigger. It goes right on the cheekbone, ladies and gentlemen. So just a little bit, little highlighter went a long way and it kind of warmed this up. So layering this slime highlighter is a good idea. I didn't love it. <laughs> oh, why? It's just a brush. Why did I feel like the world was ending? I was like, <sighs> like everything was in slow motion and I, oh, I couldn't breathe. <sighs> catch your breath, Daniel, catch your breath. I do like it. No glow, glow. I'm gonna try the slime highlighter. Again, I'm barely touching it, like just a tiny bit. It feels cool. I feel like it feels better than it looks. <laughs> Which isn't the point when you're paying $45. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put a lot just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Because you might not be able to tell by the amount I'm putting on. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like I would really like this if there was a warmer color for brown folks. You know, let's you. Oh, I'm gonna try something fun. Have you guys seen this Too Faced little pigment? It's called Ultra Fine Face and Body Glitter. It's not glitter though, it's like a pigment, gold pigment, and it is pretty. I'm gonna use this as the highlight. This is where it's at. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Highlighter heaven. This gives a little bit more of a chunkier highlighter look. It actually is kind of glittery, but it's still very fine. It's not like glitter glitter. See how this looks a little bit more natural on my skin? It's because it's gold. When someone is like my complexion or deeper and you put a gold highlighter, because of our undertones, it looks more natural. See how this is a little bit more soft, more like sun-kissed. This is more like white, right? Because this one is a little bit more silvery. Now let's try the Becca Champagne Pop. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. See how pretty that is? I'm gonna try a little bit down my nose. Ooh. You guys see that glow? This is the... Baby Face 21 brush, it's from Senna Cosmetics. This is also one of my favorite highlighting brushes because look how round it is and small, so it allows you to really just kind of be precise. Ooh. I'm not mad at this slime highlighter when it's layered. That's the only way I love it. So just because something is $45, for example, this highlighter or a $200 um, mascara or whatever, the way we're marketed to is that higher end brands make us feel like if you don't have this product or this car or this fancy ring, you aren't good enough in society because you don't have money and you're not better than other people. To me, that, that is so, so, so not true because I have found cheap foundations that I love, cheap lip liners, cheap bronzers, cheap highlighters. Don't let, you know, marketing fool you into thinking that expensive is best because it's not true. Use what's good for you, use what you love. If, it's, if you love a $2 mascara and it works great on you, then guess what? That mascara is amazing. End rant. Boop! Actually, I want you guys to kind of tell me what products you guys have that are cheap or inexpensive that you love. Write them down below so that I can like buy them or I can tell you like, oh my god, I love that also. So again, not my favorite thing. I'm going to call this a slime primer because I liked it once I put a highlighter over it. It really made the highlighter pop, but it wasn't a highlighter on its own. Okay, let me know what you want to see videos of or what products you want me to review because I want to do this regularly because I love it. Make sure to subscribe and like this video and don't forget to comment below on what you think. I love you guys and I will see you guys very, very soon. All right, take care.